Bone Shane. Bone. Yes, sir. Today is August the 17th. What day is it? Thursday. Philip, today is August the 17th. What day is it? Huh? Thursday. Hold on it. Today is August the 17th, right? August the 17th. What day is it? August the 17th. What day is it? Today Thursday. Today Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Irving, I dropped on the big one there this morning. Today is August the 17th. What day is it? What is August the 17th? Thursday. All right. Uh, welcome back to Live for Love TV. Today's the 17th day of the eighth month of the 23rd year inside the 21st century. I hope everyone's doing extremely well out there. I, I'm, today I'm going to compare two, two men, two great men, but two men. One's going to be Martin Luther King and one is Marcus Garvey. Now some of you will know why I'm comparing them on this particular day, but some maybe, uh, maybe have forgotten. When Martin Luther King was alive in the 60s, I can't remember exactly the year, he was doing some memoirs and he came to write his book and his memoirs and he did that in Jamaica. Whilst on the trip to Jamaica, writing his book, and you can find that book, I'm sure, online by now, um, he went to a memorial of Mr. Marcus Garvey, the second man I'm, I'm um, featuring. And when he went there, he made a statement and the statement goes as such. This is the first man that allowed black men to stand up straight. He made black men feel as if they had an iron rod in their back. They could stand up and face any other man. This is Martin Luther King talking about Marcus Messiah Garvey. Think about what he's saying. This is the black man that made all black men stand up straight with an iron rod in their back. Self pride, respect, all that. This is Martin Luther King talking. Now, I'm bringing it up because <clears throat> today is. The, the earth strong or the birthday as you like to say of Marcus Messiah Garvey so why am I bringing it up today well simple one man has a public holiday behind him and one doesn't as you know Martin Luther King has a public holiday on his on his birthday yeah in January that he's his birthday is in January and he has a public holiday every year now that happened from 1983 and it took a little while for every single state to do it, but they all do it now. And I think 2000 was a year when by 2000, all 50 states um, have a public holiday on Martin Luther King's birthday. Now remember, Martin Luther King is a black man in a country completely controlled and run by white people, where people are still saying black people are ethnic minorities compared to the Europeans in population. And he has a public holiday. Now we know the campaigns went on for years and years and years, even culminating with Stevie Wonder's song, Happy Birthday. But <clears throat> nevertheless, he was given a public holiday, which rightfully so he should be, as a great man. But after, remember what he said about Marcus Garvey. Now Marcus Garvey actually, I believe, died in 1940. Don't quote me on that because if you can find other sources, I found sources recently that said he died in 1938. I don't know. I mean, my original source that I had from from him said he died in 1940 in London. Anyway, his body was years later. I think maybe over, I don't know, 20, 15, 20 years later, his body was dug up by the Jamaican government and brought to Jamaica, and he became the first national hero of Jamaica. So that's the trouble they went through. But to this day, Marcus Garvey in Jamaica is not a public holiday. The, his day is not a public holiday. In fact, <clears throat> when you when you traverse the streets in Jamaica and ask people about this day, almost nobody knows what day it is. They don't. They, if you say to them, you know, August the seventeenth, what day is it? They, they don't know what you're talking about. You know, just it's just not even. It's not, he, he's not even a byword in that way. And that's to show you how backward and. Um, the whole the mentality has become with all of us how, how how unbelievable that is when you consider that every liberation struggle on the continent of Africa has something to do with Marcus Messiah Garvey they all are the first leaders quote him they all um, look towards him they all remember the power of this man 
and yet in Jamaica, in a country where he is a natural, a national hero. It's not like he's just a, another person. He's the first national hero. He, he doesn't get a public holiday. Why doesn't he get a public holiday? <clears throat> what other public holiday is more important than that day? Maybe you can answer that to me because there's a lot of public holidays in a lot of countries and in Jamaica. What public holiday in Jamaica is more important than that day? I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'll, I'll leave that for you people to, to, to answer or to <clears throat> discuss amongst yourself in the comments. But it's very sad and it's, it shows the lack of where we are. And it's not, I'm not putting that on Jamaica because this is right across the continent of Africa and in, in the Car Caribbean and everywhere around the world. Uh, people are not given the, the, the due respect that, uh, for what they've done and for the power that they've had whilst they've been alive. And that's, that's fair enough because none of us are given that respect and we're not going to get it. I keep saying we to one another cannot really respect one another. If we have someone as powerful as Marcus Garvey, who no one wants to respect, you know, as, as um, Bernie Spears said, no one remembers old Marcus Garvey. Well, here we go again. It's almost no one seems to be remembering the earth strong of Marcus Messiah Garvey with all the great work he does. And you hear of all, all these Garveyites all over the place. But... Um, Where's the campaign to make it a public holiday in Jamaica like there was in the US? <clears throat> I don't hear any groups in Jamaica campaigning that Marcus Gar Garvey's day should... Well, I mean, it's been said more than once, don't get me wrong, but not a genuine campaign to say, this is what it is. This is what it is. We want this day to be a public holiday. It's as important as any other public holiday uh, or, you know, on the calendar. Why is this one been, been accepted? Difficult to, difficult to explain. But anyway... I suppose one out of two is not bad. They got Martin Luther King Day, haven't they? So take care. See you soon. Live for Love TV.